Hey, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Um, I just wanted to try to help out and see if we could show how to catch a cheap hoof because I'm having um, a little bit of trouble here trying to catch them. And, you know, there's a really cool feature to the PS5 that um, I wanted to show also in case people aren't using it or haven't done it. Um, I just used it on my last mission once and it worked really good and I'm going to use it again right now. So um, before I do that, I do want to say I hope you're doing good and I do want to point out this cheap hoof I just noticed actually has what looks to be Dorito wings. I don't know if you can notice that, but it looks like he has kind of some nacho chip Dorito wings going on there. That's pretty awesome. Um, if you haven't played this game also, uh, it is a lot of fun. You got one more day to download it for free. Um, so make sure that you pick it up and you download it from the PSN store. Um, it is a PS5 exclusive, but, you know, it, it is a freebie. So, so here we go. Check it out. This is how we do it. Um, as of right now... Uh, my strategies are not working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my PS button and it's going to pull up uh, my current missions. And this is what's so awesome, is um, basically what I'm doing right now is um, I'm in the second step of a progress, or third or fourth step for this guy. And what I can do is look up actually what it, what I need to do, what step I'm at. So instead of looking online on my phone or on the computer or whatnot... You can actually do it while you're in game. It's very quick and easy, and they have these. As far as I know, it's only if the uh, you know designers or the developers kind of added these features in. Um, I don't know if there's community integration with this or not, but as you can see, we're just going to streamline through this. It's going to tell us how to do this uh, step. Okay, so launch, lunch, uh, lunch, launch. Uh, it says launch the snack trap. Oh, the snack trap towards the cheese poofs with the launch pad to catch them, then feed them the crumb dough. Okay, so we're going to check it out. It shows a little video here of how to do it exactly. Okay, so you just throw that on there. Oh, I had no idea you could even do that. Look at this. You got to be careful. Oh, oh, sick. All right, let's do it. That's awesome. You see what I mean? So... That's what I wanted to really show here is that feature. And now let's go try it out. So there's our uh, cheese poof. Cheese poof. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I love this game, man. It is. Wait, what's up with this? Can I catch him real quick? Oh, nice. He uh, bumped himself. He's spuddy. Yeah, this game is uh, a lot of fun. Um, it's a nice transition from, you know, the Demon Souls and the Call of Duty and stuff like that. Like, it's really smooth. Same controls as Call of Duty, actually. So, it's an easy transition. Okay, so we're just going to come up here. Uh, looks like he's going to be flying by us. This is like the exact location. So, I'm going to deploy this. I'm going to build my, okay, and then you just lock on to him, oh, wow, I had no idea, and we're going to catch him, oh, I missed him, I missed him, <laughs> okay, I like it's a little tricky, that's perfect, it's not too hard, it doesn't look impossible, but you got to get it right, I like that, okay, let's try again here, all right, guys, what do you say, we wait till... And we got him! Yay! Failed 360. Okay, now we're gonna have to. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to drop one. So, um, I don't even know what to do here. I'm just going to. A little weenie worm. Yeah. Okay, now. Before we go, because we're going to... He wants one. Oh, wait, it counts? Or do I feed it to him? Let's see. Okay. Need to keep the inventory. We're going to... 
it, it's really strange. So if you don't know what's going on here, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I completely understand. Okay, let's go for these other ones here. We need to do two more. Let's see his. Uh, there's actually a way here. Check this out. If you, if you go like this and you scan them, you can see where their their flight pattern is. So, or that's for all uh, bug snacks. So now let's put down this again. We'll throw our trap on top. Lock on him. And oh, it did get him. That was good. Nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Leave that alone. Got him. Gee, poof. Oh, I love that sound. Okay, so let's get up here. Um, you know, this game, what does it remind me of? I would say, uh, it reminds me of a couple things kind of mixed together. Uh, like I said, it has, it's a first person experience. So you have, you have that reminder, right? Because the controls are very similar. Like firing or using is the same. Like for, you know, I lay that, it's like shooting, um, aiming. It's all very similar. Um, but, oh shoot, I did that all, I pushed the wrong button. Uh-oh. Oh, um, look at these effects too. It's dark out right now, so it's gonna be hard to see some of this little stuff. But I wanted to collect that popcorn. We need to get a pop. Oh boy. Um, what does it remind me of specifically? I've, I've been thinking about this quite a bit actually when I play it. And, uh. Okay, there we go. Like I said, if we do this, that helps too because I want to catch them coming towards us. Boom! There it is. Last one. <laughs> um, a little bit, I, I mean, I'm going to say, you know, Pokemon a little bit, um, just, you know, the, the capturing or the, uh, you know, the wild animals. I mean, here you got a flaming scorpion and, you know, I mean, flaming Charmander, you know, they're kind of knockoffs almost, but... It it's also has these NPC aspects, so you kind of have this, like, it's very much, like, reminds me a lot of Fallout 4 um, in that, like, adventure sense, because I'll show you here. You have this here, and you, you have so many different objectives, right, that you can do at any time. So you're not really pressured until you need to go further. There's a main story mission, I would say, and that's going to push you into uh, further down. But... Uh, Eventually, you do run out of missions, but um, in that kind of open world sense, you know, it is a lot like Fallout where, you know, you have, you collect things, you know, you have an open world, um, you have different tools to access different areas, you know, you're talking to different people and they all have their stories and things of that nature. Um, but I would say, there's it, there's a level of comfort with this game. It's so palatable, and I love that it, like it has some options like FOV. So I, I was able to open mine up really, you know, to like 105. I think it's on, and that really um, I love that it helps. Yeah, or 90 even. See, if we can even go a little more out. Yeah, we'll go out to 100. And we'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll play like that for a bit. See how that is. I love that though. It. Uh, I think it's a little too much. Actually, it, it looks a little better at, at 90. Yeah, I'm gonna go up about 92. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Anyways, let's uh, let's feed him his num nums. There we go. And we're gonna turn this hand into it. Why not? Yeah. 
Okay, All right, okay, we did it, guys. That was it. To get your paws on that bridge. So, so I'll cut you a deal, friend. friend. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. Okay, wait. A sweet fighter. Okay. Um, we're gonna do the exact same thing again here. What we're gonna do is figure out. Fry with me, he says here. Catch one sweet fryder. Commodore continues to make demands. A sweet fryder should help him. Quiet. Okay. Um, I actually saw one of those not too long ago. Kind of, uh. Wow. You know what, I wonder if this is going to go with the theme of the... ...launch pad, so we're going to grab that. Yeah, it's really funny because you have these different um, sauces, like ranch dressing, hot sauce, chocolate, and you load them in your... Oops. You know, you load them in here and you... <laughs> and what it does is it you see that odor like that scent it kind of it attracts different you know animals like different sauces and things like that it's really silly oh what's she saying oh uh, i'm doing this one so we're looking for a Friday. Um, I don't remember where we saw those. Oh, it was close to here, though. It was recent, too. I thought we just saw. Maybe it, maybe it wasn't. Well, here's another great opportunity, guys. We're going to try this. I'm going to just save some time while I'm live streaming here, and we're going to do this again, okay? So let's pull it up. We're going to go into it. Fry with me in progress. And it's going to tell us here there's a sweet fighter on a plateau nearby. See? Use a launch pad to launch a snack trap to the plateau to catch it. Let the wind carry the snack trap down to the canyon. Okay. Yeah, so it was... Oh, yeah, see, he's right there. All right. Well, what we're going to do then is get this out. Okay. And let's go. Um, actually, we'll just do it across again. Yeah, looks like we could probably... Pop them down right there, pop this down right there, and nice, okay. Boom! First try, is it gonna push it? We need the win, come on, come on, yeah! Nice, there it is. Friday. Yeah, it kinda had, it's like a uh, Fallout meets Pokemon. You know, uh, it's pretty silly. Oh, and then you need to throw something really weird in there, though, too. Like, that just doesn't really make sense to really kind of be the ice. Because there's, let's, let's do, is there anything? Oh, it's on me. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Sure. You're my best. And only, and only custom. custom. I'm starting and to I'm think start I should get a better location, location back in snacks. But, uh, but moving, all, moving this all this inventory across, across, the, across the, desert the desert is real, is sweaty, real sweaty, 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 sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. cool. If you may you you make my feet in a big popsicle, uh, then walking uh, the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find popsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere Awesome. T 
turn Kramdo's feet into big popsicles. So that must be, see it's getting morning time now. You see the sun kind of coming up. Okay. So I'm not sure about those missions at all. Let's see where we're at as far as missions go. Oh. Oh, where are those? Let's see if we got a map. Have I seen them before? No. I guess we have to find the Iceland place. There it is. Okay. So, let's try to find a way out of here that we didn't come in. And, I mean, wouldn't it be here? I thought this was our, uh, our next big step here. If you make, you make my oh, feet I into big popsicles, popsicles. Uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you. You won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. All right, guys, let's keep it moving on Cromdo. We're gonna we're gonna pop right in. Now we're gonna go a step further here. We're just gonna play the video while we go ahead and read this. So, it shows them... Oh, see, this is a whole new area. Peanut butter, we don't have that yet. Go to Sugar Pine Woods, unlocked after completing Snugback Gets Spooked. Snacksburg. Gets Spooked. Get peanut butter for your saw slinger from the plants around Sugar Pine Woods. Okay. And what does this mean? Now what? obstacles by luring charmellows. You see this? This is amazing. Uh, wait or sleep until nighttime. Thaw big popsicles by luring charmellows toward them with chocolate or peanut butter. Then catch them with the bug net. Feed the popsicles the crumb dough. Got it. Okay. Well, Guys, I wanted to uh, do a quick video just on these cheese poofs here, um, which we did. Um, I'll do those missions here on my own. It's a little bit longer. I wasn't going to play that long for you. But um, if you ever wanted to figure out how to catch those and um, wanted to know how to do it here on using the trophy system so you don't need to look up videos anymore, there you go. That's it. I hope you're doing great. Take it easy. Peace.